And there are three types of intermolecular bonds that we will learn about. There is the London dispersion force. Or LDF for short. Dipole dipole interactions. defined as the attraction between the protons in one molecule and the electrons molecules attracting one another. For example, hydrogen gas there is one molecule of hydrogen gas. Here are its electrons in the center being shared. The protons are where the symbols for the element are. I'm going to draw the second particle of hydrogen gas, second molecule, and a London dispersion force would be the attraction between these two electrons here and this proton there. So it would be this. Force of attraction. These electrons here should be attracted to those protons there. Like so. When we drew, when we talked about the potential energy diagram for the formation of a covalent bond, we drew hydrogen like this. Molecules, 
they would be closer together and hydrogen would not be a gas. It might be a liquid or solid. Now the attractions between molecules can increase when the particles are closer. We know this from Coulomb's law. Uh, so the packing, what we call the packing arrangement of the particles affects these forces, these London dispersion forces. So too does the number of electrons and protons. As you can see here, I only have two protons and two electrons, and I can generate let's see, another force of attraction here, that's three, uh, perhaps here as well, that's four, perhaps here as well, five, and six. So between these two particles, I'm able to come up with six forces of attraction. But if I have molecules that contain atoms with, let's say, 20 or 30 protons in them, and 20 or 30 electrons in them, there are more possibilities for generating attractions, because there are more electrons and more protons available to do this. So, forces of attraction are affected by distance between particles and number of electrons. dipole-dipole interaction is next. Uh, by definition, it is the attraction between Drawing the electrons back up. 